Yo guys, it's James and welcome to Cinephoto. We are going to be doing some top 10 tripod tricks and tips. Okay, so obviously all you're really going to need for this is a tripod and a camera. Alright, so now we're going to go over to the camp and try out all these different methods. Alright guys, so we're at the camp now. Um, so this is where we're going to do all our test shots. So, to start off, we have just a simple rubber band. That's all you need. And it basically makes all your pans and tilts a lot more smoother because it takes a lot of the vibrations from your hand and the rest of your body uh, and absorbs them. Um, and so they don't go through to the camera. So all you need to do, it doesn't really matter how big, a shorter one's a little, a little bit better, but you just pop it onto the handle. And then as you pan across, you can start recording and then just pan across with little pressure and keep it at like a constant pan, which is really, really nice. Right, so tip number two is going to be a glide cam technique. Pretty simple, you'd be surprised. All you do is extend your legs out, I'd say to kind of a medium width, maybe about half a meter. Maybe shooting on slow motion if you can, so maybe 60 FPS if, if your camera can do it, because um, that means you can slow it down and smooth it out in post, which is always nice. Um, and also I'd recommend shooting on a wider lens, so I'm shooting 18 right now, um, but we also sometimes shoot on an eight millimeter. You want to raise the tripod up here, just so you have something to hold on to. So you can start recording and just go ever so slowly. And there you go. The tripod legs will counterweight the camera, spreading the weight out, making a much steadier shot for, as a comparison, if I was to try and do it with my hands. Okay, so tip number three. This tip basically turns your tripod into a kind of dolly, if you like, and gives the same effect. Um, all you need to do is just have your camera facing between two legs. And so as you do your fluid movements, you can pan down and up, but then you can push forwards onto two legs and get a really nice dolly shot. And you can really smooth that out and make it really, really fluid. So this one's a pretty self-explanatory. Call it the diagonal pan. Um, you can really get quite creative and get the kind of glide cam effect, um, but just still from a stationary object. So we'll hit record. And you can say you could start on the top right and you could pan in and get a diagonal on it. Okay, so this next one um, is kind of using the tripod in a little bit more of a creative way. And instead of just knocking to pans and tilts again, you can actually just move straight down. So all you need to do is, usually there'll be a kind of stalk or stem to your tripod. And then what I like to do is I like to press a finger and a thumb around it just to pinch it and let it soak through. And it means that you can get perfectly straight movements. Okay, so this next one can actually be used for both photo and video. Basically, you can just turn your tripod into a monopod. And there you go. You've got a little monopod that's a lot more easier to move around with if you're doing an event or something. Okay, so this next one, what you can do is you can use the same monopod technique and extend your tripod to the full amount. Make it as high as it, as high as it can be. And then to get some extra height, you can actually lift it up, stabilize it with your body. You can pinch it into your leg if you like and then you can start filming and kind of get that kind of aerial shot. I'd recommend shooting in slow-mo for this one because you are going to want to steady this out quite a bit because it can be quite shaky. It's not the most stable of things. Okay, so this next one, um, this is particularly good if you're shooting out in maybe slightly harsher conditions. So you just want to get your bag uh, and zip it up so all the stuff doesn't fall out. And then you can, this particular tripod's got a hook on it, which is quite handy. And so I can just hook my bag on like that. And so that's putting a lot more weight onto the tripod, holding it down. So it's a lot easier, it's a lot harder to make it fall over. So for the next one, um, you want to be shooting on 60 FPS or above. Um, basically that means that you can slow the footage down and post. And Basically, if you just pan at a constant motion, track your subject however you want, and just don't worry about slowing down and having trying to do some kind of speed blade or while doing it practically with your camera, because nine times out of ten that won't really look 
too good and it just the it really does show that there's actually someone behind the camera anyway guys um hopefully you found at least one or two of these tips quite helpful we certainly have done um and you can really get the most out of your tripod with this stuff if you've got any further questions about any of the tips hit us up in the comments below and also if you've got any other tips that you think we should have mentioned in the video let us know in the uh, comments and maybe we could take that into consideration for a future video uh, anyway hope you enjoy this one and see you next time